Alright, what's up everyone? So today I have a game maker game for you. This time it's in studio. Uh it's a FPS game that I've made for you guys and this is kind of like an overview tutorial of it. So I have two sprites, just the camera. Uh, I don't even need this centered, I just did it anyway. It's just a picture of a camera. Ortho, this is just a square outline to make it look kinda cool. The backgrounds, all I have is just a floor uh background here. And I have my camera or player. The depth is 10,000 or 100,000. It needs to be 100,000. I gave it the sprite. I made it solid. <coughs> In the create event, I labeled everything for you guys. So this is setting up 3D, just D3D. Start, shading, true, color, white. Uh, this is just defining a few variables. This Z is the height of the player. Z direction is the direction of the Z axis. Z speed is the speed of the Z axis. Jump is zero, uh, which means it's not the player isn't jumping whenever you spawn. X2, Y2, and Z2 are all secondary variables, which basically equal X, Y, and Z. They're just needed for the projection. So here we are creating the floor and the ortho, and the ortho is basically a rectangle, which is. Uh, crosshairs so that's the end of creating variables let's go into the step so here uh, this is basically forward control um, if you press W the speed is going to equal 6 forward uh, if you press S the speed is going to equal negative 6 which is basically uh, going backwards so this is stopping the movement here if you release any key and your speed is going to have to equal zero because you want it to equal zero you don't want to move whenever you release a key so then jumping is right here I'll stay on this longer so you guys can copy if you want to so if you press space and jump is equal to zero then jump is equal to one and this sets jump to true or one so Z speed the speed of the z-axis is 8 so this is the speed at which the player goes upward for a jump then if the jump is true you're gonna it, it's gonna do this so if jump is 1 that's true z is gonna plus and equal z speed so this adds z, the speed of z which is 8 to z so it basically goes upward to 8 and then once it hits the Z speed it's gonna subtract 0 0.4 so it's going down then if Z is equal to 175 again which is my default height then it's going to uh, set everything back to normal which is going to set Z to 175 the speed to 0 and jump back to 0 and that's the end of the controls so then the in the escape key I just have it in the game so I can easily end the game and the draw is a little bit more complicated here uh, this is gonna draw the game and 3d basically so the direction of the player is going to minus equal display get X and width this is basically looking side to side Z direction which is the direction of the Z axis which we set up earlier the reason it's Z direction and not Z2 is because we're jumping and you need the direction of the Z axis instead of the uh, where you want it to be facing. <coughs> so then you're getting Y, which is uh, up and down. So display get height. This looks up and down. The display mouse set. This is setting the mouse in the center of the screen. Uh, so then you don't like spawn with your mouse all over the place like going in circles then x2 y2 z2 this is setting a relative distance a hundred is the length and this direction is direction so it's setting a relative direction in the direction that you're facing then z2 uh, it's gonna add z to the direction of your z-axis then your draw saying the color to white or it's clear it's basically white is clear uh, and then you're setting the projection this draws everything into the world 
Uh, so we're drawing the x, y, z, x2, y2, z2, and 0, 0. Then 1 is the direction at which you want to be facing upward, and you need 1 there. So that's the end of the drawing. So and make sure you have your depth as uh, 100,000. <coughs> Send the floor. Uh, this is pretty self-explanatory. It's just uh, you're drawing the floor at the room with the size of the room, and you're getting the background texture stretched at nothing. The ortho, uh, basically, this is. Uh, I'll I'll write this out as we go. So this is. Uh, you're drawing. You're setting up the ortho. So set up the ortho and the ortho is rectical by the way so I'll just do uh, and this is uh, drawing the ortho and then we're gonna Okay, so we're setting up the ortho, and we're setting it so that it's going to display at room width and room height, and then the rotation is zero, same with the X and Y. Then the color, we're going to set to white, which is clear, uh, it basically displays itself. <coughs> you don't want the lighting to take effect on this. You want to be, you want to see this at all times, so lighting is false. Uh, then we're drawing the sprite in the center of the screen. So we're drawing the ortho sprite. Uh, it's basically just one image, so I just set the sub image to negative one. And room width divided by two and room height divided by two is the exact center of the screen. So that's where I draw it. So this is the end of the ortho drawing. Check out of that. Okay. And in the room, I just have views uh, set up so that it's 1024 by 768. It's not following anything. The background, I just have a light blue, looks like a sky, and I just put the player in there. So, and if we go ahead and run this, I can go ahead and show you guys what it looks like. Here we go. Here's the game. Uh, basically, you can walk around, you can go outside of the room, obviously. If you'd like part two, I can set up boundaries and show you uh, better side con side side controls. So you can jump up and down, pretty cool. You can look around. You have your ortho in the center of the screen, which is the crosshairs. I just put a square for those, and it's pretty cool. Uh, another thing you could do is go into your object, uh, and in the draw event, just do extra and hide that mouse cursor. And also, uh, you could set the speed of your room to, uh, oh, it's already on 60. You can set it to 60 so that you get better frame rate. Uh, so that's basically it, guys. So thank you guys for watching, and if you'd like part two, let's try to get at least five likes and one comment. So be sure to check the links in the description, subscribe, and I'll see you all next time.